what's up guys it's me that's my name now is me <laughs> in this video I'm gonna be making a garden wall um, they usually come like four panels that fold together mine's just gonna be three I kind of did start a little bit already well mainly wood prep as you can see here this is what I'm gonna be using these were three two by fours that I ripped in half so there's six pieces here they're being clamped together right now just so just an attempt to warp them back and warp them back straight so I'll be checking on those and then I got some two by threes here now all of these are planed you don't want to see me do that again <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's if I've shown it in any of my videos in the background or anything but I got this thing this is a composite lattice 4x8 that I got last year <laughs> I was planning on doing something with it but then things changed and it's just been sitting here then I came up with doing like a portable garden wall or a folding garden wall so anyway that's what this video is gonna be so let me take a look at this wood real quick okay so I clamped these yesterday uh, it still splits <laughs> these are a little better but this one's pretty curved as you can see let me undo this one see how this end looks not bad so it's just this one's the bad apple but it's not terrible I can still use it <laughs> now before I do such projects and things like that I usually draw things up as you can see here take notes give you give me an idea of what I what the hell I'm gonna make and then on this page I have all the or the wood pieces and I do this just to see how many pieces of wood I need and three two by fours will make the frames here which will encase the lattice as you can see there and then I have the two by threes which will create the main frame of it and as you can see I have it drawn out like that as for the height um, that has yet to be determined I might go at most six feet on it so we'll see I never show you guys my sketches and notes but yeah <laughs> this is what I normally do so what I plan on doing is using these for the inner frame which will hold the lattice so I want to cut a channel in each one for the lattice to sit in um, I'm gonna have to use that table saw right there and I think let's see how thick this is okay it's not too thick I have to see what kind of cut that thing makes I might have to do at least two passes to get the thickness so that it will slot in there but the thing is with this table saw and you've seen me use it before ah, everything's flying away this table saw is super sketch <laughs> it has no guard no protection at all I do need to replace the blade because it's pretty old and worn but it still works it's getting caught up on the wood though so I'll be ordering a new blade but yeah there's no guard or anything but I still I still use it the thing is when you use power tools that have little protection or the protection is removed it kind of makes you it kind of forces you to be safer so I mean when it has if it has protection you know you can get careless and using it and all of a sudden you can make a mistake because you won't think about safety okay so I got all the grooves cut and these pieces some of them and I'm there my lips stuck together <laughs> Some of them I'm gonna have to go over again because it's hard to do a long piece. This one here, see, it's still kind of narrow and the piece won't fit in there. And some of them have sections where it won't fit either, so I just have to go over it again when they're cut. It'll be easier to deal with smaller pieces. 
So now the next step is to either cut this in thirds, which is 32 inches each, or I can cut those to size. Either way, I think the way I had it measured is this will have some excess removed from it because of the dimensions I have here. Um, <laughs> I'll see. Here are all the pieces cut. Well, the ones I need anyway. I'm going to check my router bits to see if I have something a uh, good size to even all of these out just so they meet when I put them all together. So that way it'll all be nice and flush with each other. I think I have something small that will not be too thick for this thing. So yeah, I'll be setting up my ghetto router jig again. <laughs> it works well, just so I can make everything even. But yeah, so this is pretty much the frame pieces for the lattice. And once that's done, I can put everything together. Um, I'm not sure if I want to router the edge here, like decorative or something. I can, I was thinking of it. But it's pretty much all going to be painted white. I'll have to go through the pieces and see what needs touch up and, you know, things like that. Alright, so I got my router jig here set up. Now, you want to make sure you know the rotation of your bit when doing this. I believe it rotates this way. You want it to the piece to be pushed up against whatever fence you have here. Otherwise, it can just shoot it out. So I have to go this direction with the pieces and I'm going to have to go up two passes because this is kind of shallow. <laughs> so I'll do one pass on each piece and then see how much higher I can raise it and then do it again. do just one pass each maybe all well, two the second just for cleanup because I was able to pop the collar out extend it some and extend this some they're still firmly clamped on I just really tightened it to hell <laughs> but yeah all these pieces are now evenly channeled so putting the frame together shouldn't be an issue I hope let me see have a joints up here because I just want this to be even and that works for me because I don't want it to be like off you know because that would suck but yeah so the next thing to do is to put this damn thing to shape One lattice panel mocked up everything fits well these sides I had to cut down one and a half inch because there was the exact length of this and I needed some I needed to be shorter so these can slot it but everything turned out good I'll be using these two by threes for like the main frame we'll have a little bit of offset Less than this because this is on the ground, but yeah, it'll look like that. Not this high though, <laughs> this is eight feet, unless I want it eight feet, but yeah, let's have one on the top. I'll do something in the middle here. I was thinking either like a flat, sl um, 
this flat piece of wood a blank or cutting some verticals. I'll see what I want to do. And then there were three. <laughs> They still need some adjustment, as you can see here, on this one. This one I need to fix just by cutting a little bit more off the lattice, so I can push it in more, be flush. But yeah, so that's it for these. Um, I have them labeled as well. I call, I mark all the wood here A, B, and C, and then on the joints here, as you can see, this is joint three of panel A. So it's one, two, three, four. Since I'm gonna have to take these apart and do some finishing work on them. So that way I know what goes where. <laughs> so I got the panels mocked up, screwed on, just so I can sand down and fill in some of the imperfections on it since it's going to be painted now what I use is a uh, timber mate it's really good stuff hardens really well and quickly actually comes in different colors I have I believe mahogany that's why it's red yeah I'm gonna wait for those to dry then I'll sand them down and take them apart get those pieces painted and then get all this assembled then I can see what I'm gonna do with these measure the height and see what I want to put underneath it as well with the power of editing all three panels here are assembled and about 90 percent painted or so I need to do a third coat on the frames here. I did paint these as well because they were too dirty to clean. It's been sitting over there for over a year. So, but yeah, they're done for the most part. The kind of bows, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Then I got a. I did start filling in these boards where they have imperfections. I might need one more of these I'll see okay so I'm mocking this up now the rest of the wall I'm gonna be going six feet on it just to give it some height a uh, lower cross brace and then I'll see what I want to fill it in with either I'll see what I want to do here but I'm just gonna get the pieces prepped and cut for the rest of the wall all right more editing powers <laughs> I have the lattice frames all assembled onto the outer frame <clears throat> I just lined them up to see how wide it's gonna be it's just over eight feet I believe so what's next is cutting some cross braces just like this I'm gonna need six of these well five of these because I have one here and then I'm gonna be cutting or route using my router to cut grooves in the middle since I plan on doing panels. These are some leftover boards I still have from the old fence. I'm going to go through these, see what pieces I can use. <clears throat> Set up my router table. And try and finish these up. Okay, so I got these boards already and channeled, as you can see. So now I just need to go through the fence boards here, which are all covered in dust. <laughs> see what sections are good and also see how long I need them to be. Okay, so here's one panel done. Pretty much how it's going to look like. It actually looks good like that color-wise, <laughs> if that was only wood color, but it'll all be white. I'm just going to paint this over how it is there's imperfections and stuff but well here it is got the panels on and i got the sections on the hinges and it's it's standing <laughs> it 
it's actually quite sturdy. And it does have a good amount of weight. So moving this around will take some doing. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna look. Just picture everything else painted white, which is the next step. I did have to fill in some areas. That's why the boards look like that. That's filler. And for here, I got some half inch dowel that I'm gonna stick in each of these holes. I believe there are a total of 72. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be doing that. Finish up some sanding. This is a bit rough. I have some filler up there as well. But yeah, the only thing that I had to juggle with were the panels, like getting them to the correct width. Because most, I thought I was gonna have six panels each. This one has six. There's a little gap, a little play in there. This one is perfect. <laughs> There's no play at all. This one actually has seven. I don't know why. There was like an inch gap left so I cut the boards narrower and put seven and I stuck this one in the middle so that has seven and then the outside ones have six holes okay so the way I'm plugging these holes they're half inch so I'm using a half inch dowel so I just put some glue on it put it in there turn it so it's all the way around and I just take my jigsaw Hold it. Cut it off like that. It's sticking out, that's fine. I need to sand them all down and fill them up just so it's nice and even. And using the jigsaw is necessary because there's a lot of holes I need to fill. <laughs> so okay, so I got the holes all plugged up with the dowel. Now with the jigsaw and some of them I was able to get pretty close to the wood just to lessen the work I have to do to the top but on some of them I'm gonna have to sand and file down so I got some files here and here's the filler I'm using by the way it's a solvent based filler by the way this labels upside down because there's the lid <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Okay, time for some primer and paint. When that's all done, I'll be done. <laughs> primer coat. And paint. It's all done. Looks really nice. Turned out, I guess this is how I expected it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. It's a nice addition. Stands out though because it's white and it's bright. So yeah, it functions well. I'm using it right here for now. Just to keep the dogs from getting to the gate, which is on the other side. Um, I do plan on making something here, actually. So, but, so I'm using this wall for now. Um, it's more of a decorative thing, but yeah, I'll be making something here. Let's get on the other side. Now so we can pass through, I did attach a handle to it, just to make it easier. Just lift it up a little, so you can move it, just like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this wall. And that's also it for this video. <laughs> I think I used at least three layers of paint so oh <laughs> shout out to Kevin 
Man, if you like this video, leave it a, give it a like, leave it a like, leave, give it a like, leave it a subscribe. <laughs> Whatever. On to the next project. See ya.